Let me briefly explain the different materials used on uh, pressure plate castings. This would be the face that pushes up against the, the clutch disc. There's, there's two basic types. You have gray iron and ductile iron. And there are different grades to each material. However, the broad category would be gray iron and ductile iron. Ductile iron is a material that can be approved for SFI uh, certification. That would be for, for racing. Gray iron will never be approved for that. And, um, the, but there are advantages to gray iron. Gray iron is a material that uh, will stay uh, very flat even when it gets hot. Uh, like a brake rotor, that's made out of gray iron. That's because it is very inexpensive, easy to machine, and it stays flat when it gets hot. However, they do tend to crack, and in the case of a clutch, when it cracks, those cracks can grow and you could have a catastrophic failure. Where uh, ductile iron is a much stronger material, and uh, instead of uh, cracking, no, it, it warps instead. Uh, the warping will cause a, a trade-off in, in the performance of the clutch, but typically it's not going to be a catastrophic failure. Now every, every casting has its, uh, has its limits. You know, I can't say that this won't fail. It's just a much stronger material and, uh, and meets the racing standards as well. Uh, so there are different grades of ductile iron, which is what this one is. Uh, but you can tell the difference really easy just by tapping on it with something. See, see a ductile iron has that ring to it. Gray iron does not. <laughs> and uh, now there's different grades, like I said. This, this is a gray iron casting. This does, doesn't have the same ring as a ductile uh, iron does, but it's much better grade than the, than the earlier one. Um, the, uh, uh, the only time we really see these gray iron castings, like I, uh, we'll see it in low horsepower applications or on a diesel truck that has a really big casting and it's not turning high RPM. Um, or we see it on the aftermarket where they make copies of the original equipment, but they want to go cheap and they put in a ductile iron, I mean a gray iron casting. And that could be scary. We've seen catastrophic failures on clutches that really shouldn't because the, if they use the original part, it has ductile iron and is safe for that application. But instead, these aftermarket companies going cheap, they will, uh, they'll put in something that's frankly dangerous. So, so anyway, that's a brief explanation. Thank you.